Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. In today's video, we'll be checking out the brand new Amazfit GTR2 right here. Um, before I just start off, I just want to say that a massive thank you to Dasher for actually hooking me up with this device right here. Uh, they basically have this online store on Shopee and Lazada. So if you're buying tech stuff from Malaysia or Singapore, uh, you can just check out a Dasher store. Just go and search like D-A-S-H-E-R and you'll be able to find their store on Shopee and Lazada. Alright, uh, now that we've got that out of the way, I just want to share with you uh, my excitement for unboxing this Amazfit GTR2. So if you know uh, my previous video, I just uploaded the one where I shared my Amazfit GTS2 unboxing and I'm still wearing that, still testing that out. But today, the focus here is all about that brand new Amazfit GTR2. So let me just adjust this for a second. Alright, so like I said, uh, the focus here today is about this Amazfit GTR2. I'm going to show you guys what's in the box, uh, what this watch is all about, as well as compare it side by side with my old Amazfit GTR. So this watch, the Amazfit GTR 47mm, has been in the market for almost a year now, and this is the brand new update to it. So without further ado, let's just unbox this guy right here. Um, we do have a pull tab here for now, unlike the GTS, and let's just unbox that. Okay, so that didn't go too well. I guess we just got to rip this off. And all right, okay, with this out of the way, um, we have the box right here. So let me just go through a couple of items that was uh, the key features that is on this watch. So of course, we still have the AMOLED display. Uh, it supports the always on display throughout the entire day. We also have blurred uh, your SPO2 tracking. So that's a new feature that wasn't available in the previous Amazfit watches. Apart from that, we also still have a pretty good battery life. I'll talk more about that later as well. And here we do have our REM uh, sleep tracking. So basically, this means your rapid eye movements. It will track those at night when you sleep. And of course, we also get our heart rate tracking. And yes, this is something new right here. So basically, this is saying that we now have 4 gigabytes of internal memory to store music on the watch itself. So that's pretty cool. Last but not least, this actually has a mic on board. So you can actually give some commands uh, to the watch itself. But that's not available here yet. All right, now that we've done with those basic features, let's unbox this guy really quickly. So it should be right here, and let's get the box out. All right. All right, guys, are you ready to see the Amazfit GTR2? Here you go. So this is it, guys. Whew. This is the Amazfit GTR2. It looks way different from the uh, previous uh, GTR2. So let me just pull this out for now so we can take a closer look at this guy right here. And we do have this same box. Okay, so we're just going to put a watch here for a moment and see what else we get. Um, obviously, we will get some manuals uh, right here. And in here, we do get the charger. So the charger is actually pretty similar to the uh, previous one. This is the exact same charger with the Amazfit GTS2. Let's put this all aside for now so we can focus on the watch, guys. So I just want to take a look at this guy right here. So let's remove the plastics from the watch itself so we can have a closer look. Okay, Woo, we've got that out of the way, guys. So. Here we have the Amazfit GTR2. Okay, on first on first unboxing uh, and holding this device, it feels way lighter than the current Amazfit GTR. So the GTR2 feels a bit lighter. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the materials being used. Uh, I would definitely have preferred a slightly, uh, maybe heftier weight to it so you get that slightly more premium feel. But that's just me. Of course, some of you guys might also argue that having a lightweight device on your wrist is also more comfortable, especially when you're going to wear this at night to track your sleeps. So that's definitely a, a, an up and down kind of thing. It really depends on your preference there. But this is the Amazfit GTR2. Alright, so let's put this side by side. They both share the same size in terms of the display. I haven't set this up yet, but notice that the bezels are different. So on the existing one, the old one, the GTR1, for, uh, it actually comes with this stainless steel kind of thing frame going on around the face. I kind of like it, but this new GTR2, this looks very similar to the Mi Watch color, if you've actually seen that. But yeah, this is how it looks like. At the back, we still have this uh, matte-ish kind of... Uh, uh, surface which is very similar to the GTR1 but notice that we do have a couple of extra sensors at the back here and that's probably to track your SPO2 readings from your uh, from your wrist okay all right in terms of the bands itself I kind of prefer the old one guys like take a look at this we have more kind of a, a shape here going on some textured back here on the GTR1 but on the GTR2 it's just very minimalist I would say everything is just plain flat and there's nothing too much going on with the GTR2 so in terms of design-wise, I would say that they've really stripped down the design and make it very minimalistic. 
uh, very plain and simple. So it's either a love it or hate it kind of thing. I don't hate this design. I think it's pretty good as well. It's just something different from the existing GTR, but just to let you guys know, this is what you'll be getting with the Amazfit GTR 2. So right now I'm gonna power on this guy right here so I can show you guys more on the interface, what's new with this watch, and a couple of features that you can expect to see from this device right here. All right guys, so I've currently got my watch connected to my phone right here. And this is an iPhone, by the way, that I'm connecting to. And before we start off, it's still loading up because I've just updated the software. But I want to show you guys around the watch a bit more before we go into the software. So right here, you can see that, let me just peel that out for now. Um, yeah, we can see that we do have a tiny mic here. So that is for actually answering calls as well as activating the voice assistant. And over here, we do get a pair of speakers. So just like the Amazfit GTS 2, this watch also has speakers so you can store your songs in there and you can actually play your songs from the watch itself. So I'm not sure how many of you guys are actually going to do that, but the speakers are there. So just know that you can do that kind of thing if you're into that kind of stuff. All right, so moving on, let me zoom in a bit more to the watch. You can just see the dials here. This is how it looks like. We do have a top button here that is highlighted with a red ring. So that's probably a quick shortcut button. Uh, on the back, yeah, we do have these latches here. So this is this is how the GTR2 looks like in detail. Looks like I've got that done. All right, awesome. So the watch is started up now. Let me try and reduce that brightness a little bit. All right, so here we have the GTR2 fully locked up and loaded. And let's just see what we have here. So pulling down from the top, Naturally, this is the brand new uh, operating system from Amazfit. We do have a couple of um, quick shortcuts here and you can actually swipe to the right to get to more shortcuts access. So that's pretty cool. We do have a battery indicator, some more information here, but that's that. So swiping down from the bottom, this is where we go into our notifications. Right now, I do not have any notifications, but oh, the good news here is that this watch now supports emojis. So if you have emojis coming in, you'll be able to see them on the watch itself. I know a lot of you guys are asking that, so that's that. And notice that whenever I lift the watch up, we do have this little thing going on at the bottom and that's actually listening to your voice commands. So like I said, this watch will take voice commands but currently it's only available in China. Uh, I can't do, use the voice commands here in uh, Malaysia. But yeah, uh, expect this, expect the global version to actually be able to launch uh, like apps on based on your voice commands. And one thing you guys should need to know is that my version here again is the China version. So please do not buy the Chinese version because there is no option to change the language on the watch itself. Amazfit has never allowed that on their devices and the reason for that is because um, they sell the watches slightly cheaper in China and if you were to like import your watch out, uh, you'd be able to like sell it cheaper or something. So Amazfit just wants to control the pricing and that's why they don't allow you to switch languages on the watch itself. Okay, okay, enough of that guys. So let me just go into this watch again. So if you swipe to the right here, naturally you get into your widgets. So the first up, you see your Pi. So this is once again, a scoring system based on your activities and what the watch thinks your health lifestyle is like. So a higher score will naturally be better. So you wanna work to keep that up. Apart from that, we do have this new design here as well. This shows your calories, your number of steps and the amount of times you were seated down without moving. So we have this brief information here. Of course, if you swipe up, you can see more information as you scroll down. And same goes for the Pi settings as well. They will show you more information. So these widgets are all interactable. Uh, you can actually see this. So right now I'm in the heart rate monitoring uh, widget right here. And if I scroll down, you will see that it has this uh, like, you know, relax whether you're intense, whether your heart rate is just too quick or whatnot. So that's that over there. We can just see more stuff here. Like right now, I'm not wearing the watch so you can't detect any heart rate. So let's move on. We do have our weather widget here. Once again, you can scroll down to see more information. The entire week's weather here all on the watch device itself. Moving on with the final one is the Alipay payments and obviously this is not workable outside of China. So yeah, we can forget about that. So if you swipe to the right, this is where you get into like your uh, notification center or something like that. And here we do have again, uh, it starts off with the AI system which doesn't work overseas. Uh, we do have our alarms here. If you have any alarms, you will show up here. And you notice that when I tap it, I'm able to set an alarm really quickly. So this is just a quick shortcut. I can set the alarm here right there and it will show up in the notification center. So notice that I've already set 7 a.m. Uh, I'm just going to turn that off because I don't want to wake up at 7. Uh, moving down here, we do get our weather as well. So uh, a lot of information here. This is like I said, the notification center uh, where it just shows an overview of everything uh, that you need to know. So the last one here is the one of your SPO2 readings. I haven't tried that out yet, so it will show up here. Uh, let's talk about that later. All right, so apart from that, notice that if I hit the top button here, this goes into the list of apps. But if I hit the bottom one, this is a shortcut key that brings you into the fitness um, app straight away. So here you can choose your kinds of activities that you want to do. It tracks a lot of activities, guys. So I'm just going to go through each one really quickly. We have our outdoor running. We have our walking, cycling, a treadmill. Uh, of course, we do have our indoor uh, cycling. 
uh, swimming and of course uh, mountain climbing, uh, trekking and, and this is just like <laughs> a couple of basic activities that you can expect to use on, on this kind of watch. So it tracks all these activities but definitely I'll be trying the watch out, uh, see how accurate it is uh, in terms of its GPS. This comes with a built-in GPS. So in my full review, I'll be talking more about the performance of the GPS, how well it tracks your steps, your heart rate and all that. But right now this is just a quick overview. Alright, so moving back, I want to show you guys the main menu. So I just hit the top button right here and you can see this is what we have here. These are all the apps in the watch itself. Notice how fluid the watch is guys. So this is very fluid. So I don't feel any drop in frame rates, any lags or stutters. Everything just feels very fluid on the Amazfit GTR2. So first up, we do have our Pi. Then we have our heart rate. Next, we have our SPO2 settings. And we have our activities, uh, activity records. So apart from that, we also have our stress rates as well. It tracks our stress throughout the entire day. Uh, moving on, we do have our activities uh, that I haven't done anything yet. So moving down here, you see that we have our music app. So once again, you can actually transfer songs into this guy right here uh, by using your smartphone connecting to the app. So notice that there is already a song in here. Let's just try and play it real quick. Oops. Alright, so there you go. That's just roughly how it sounds like on the Amazfit GTR2. Uh, definitely sounds pretty alright and very good for a watch with this size. Okay, so moving back, let's see what else we have here. So obviously, we do still have our weather widget, our alarms, our cards, uh, our, our little tools. So the tools includes a compass, uh, an air pressure system, a uh, countdown, as well as uh, just some other stuff here, guys. Some very basic stuff. So this is how it looks like, guys. A um, very, very nice watch here. I would say that it really does remind me of the uh, Mi Watch color, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but yeah. Okay, so now I want to show you guys a couple of new watch faces that we do have in the watch here. So we do have, uh, oh, this looks pretty nice. Okay, so this is actually in English, and I definitely appreciate that. So you can see your heart rate, your steps, uh, fat burning. Okay, this looks cool. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, yeah. All right. So this looks nice as well because it has all the information on the screen itself. I definitely appreciate the fact that we can also customize this stuff here, you know, just to put in what kind of a widget you want uh, for these little icons right here. Uh, you can just move that, swipe it up to show different stuff. So let's go with the weather right now. So this is all the information you can have at just one glance. So pretty happy with the new watch phases. Definitely very much better than my existing Amazfit GTR. So definitely you can go to the app itself and find more watch phases here. But I think that's pretty much it for my first impressions and first look at the Amazfit GTR2. Um, I'll definitely be coming up with a full review in about one week or two because right now I'm still testing the Amazfit GTS2. Uh, let me just put this on my wrist really quickly so you guys can have a look of how this watch looks like on my wrist. Okay, very quickly, let's get that in and locked. Alright guys, so this is how it looks like on my wrist right here. Alright, so let me know down in the comment section below if you prefer the new look of the Amazfit GTR or if you prefer the old one like here. Alright, I think that's pretty much it guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, once again, if there's anything that you want me to test out specifically, let me know as well. Hit that like button if you found this video useful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!